As some world news, competition in the global tech scene redefined as advances by Chinese startup DeepSeek appear to undermine Washington's lead in the artificial intelligence race. Now, rival OpenAI has vowed to deliver, quote, much better models and accelerate product releases after DeepSeek's AI model overtook ChatGPT to become the top-rated app in the U.S. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, Altman called the Chinese startup's product impressive and said it was invigorating to have a new competitor. But Mr. Altman says there is a need for more computing power. He is appearing to push back on the idea that future AI developments could cost less. U.S. President Donald Trump has called Deep Seek's strong showing a, quote, wake-up call and that it could threaten American dominance in AI. The release of Deep Seek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake-up call for our industries that we need to be laser-focused on competing to win because we have the greatest scientists in the world. Even Chinese leadership told me that. They said you have the most brilliant scientists in the world in Seattle and various places, but uh, Silicon Valley, they said there's nobody like those people. This is very unusual when you hear a deep seek, when you hear somebody, somebody come up with something. We always have the ideas. We're always first. Despite scoring well on several metrics, the DeepSeek chatbot appears unable to take questions on issues considered politically sensitive in China, such as Taiwan and Tiananmen. China's national cybersecurity rules say generative AI must not have content that violates what Beijing sees as core socialist values. Now, for more analysis on what the rise of Deep Seek would mean for Singapore's AI scene, I'm now joined by Associate Professor Brian Lowe, Associate Vice President of AI at the National University of Singapore. He's also the Director of AI Research at AI Singapore. Professor Lowe, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, first of all, before we dive Hi. into Deep Seek, let's first talk about Singapore's AI scene. What is the current state of AI development here? Right. Um, it's nice to be here. So, um, in fact, in Singapore, there are many exciting AI developments that are going on right now. Um, for example, at AI Singapore, some of my colleagues have come together to develop the Sea Lion, which is a large language model for Southeast Asian language. It caters to underrepresented population groups and low resource languages in the Southeast Asian region. Now, when it comes to for example, um, grooming the younger generation, the younger Singaporeans, uh, what have we done? So at AI Singapore, we have provided uh, the Accelerator Master's Program to groom uh, you know, students in AI. Uh, at the same time, we also have the uh, AI Singapore PhD Program for those who want to go deeper into AI technologies. Now at NUS, I think you might, you might have heard that we have just announced the first residential college that focuses on AI. NUS has also introduced new undergrad degrees in AI and a new AI talent scholarship. Now, in terms of the community, right, um, do check out the Lorong AI uh, that's established by the National AI Group uh, of MDDI. Um, within that community, you will see AI innovators, researchers, and industry partners all getting together to share about the recent AI developments. Don't mm. miss their AI Wednesday. All right, so a lot of efforts to nurture the country's AI community and Singapore has its own national mm -hmm. AI strategy that it's constantly developing or updating. Right. Uh, any updates on how well we are doing to achieve those objectives? Right. So right now, um, like you have mentioned, right, uh, it is announced actually in the National AI Strategy 2.0 and that was in December 2023 at the Singapore Conference on AI, right? Um, so Singapore will be focusing on three research areas, uh, responsible AI, resource-efficient AI, and AI reasoning. Now, to my knowledge, uh, our government are finalizing the plans on all these three areas, so I would uh, urge you to stay tuned to it. Mm -hmm. Earlier, we were talking about DeepSeek entering uh, the tech race. As nations, you know, compete for AI dominance, does Singapore have the capability to develop something that can rival ChatGPT and DeepSeek? 
Right. So I would say that I'm positive that uh, Singapore can do this. There's two main things that we should do. Now, the first is that, you know, we have this key question that we should be asking ourselves. How did we, or how did they get there with much less resources, right? In this regard, I do think that we need to focus on one of the key research areas that I've mentioned before in the National AI Strategy 2.0, which is the resource-efficient AI. Essentially, it is about how you can do more with less resources. What are the resources that we're talking about? It will be data, model, compute, and developer's time. And in so doing, we are going to incur a lower cost. Now, DeepSeek is a clear evidence of such a possibility. Second, now we all know that Singapore is a small country, so we should never walk alone, right? So uh, we need to seek collaboration and partnership with other like-minded internationally to develop AI models together. Now, as an example, if we, uh, to truly benefit the masses in Singapore and the advancement of science, what Singapore can do is to aspire to be a leading global figure in open sourcing our AI development efforts. Not just the models like what you see in DeepSeek, in the Lamas and the Sea Lion from AI Singapore, but also open sourcing the data, the mm -hmm. code, the tricks for stabilizing the model training. Now, when all this knowledge are made available to the schools, local companies, government agencies, they will be able to truly learn, apply and co-develop AI together. Now, furthermore, uh, we all know that there's going to be uh, accountability and transparency by doing so. Now, I know that one, uh, there's one such non-profit institution out there that we can potentially collaborate with in this effort. That would be the Allen Institute for AI in Seattle. All right, Professor Lowe, thank you so much for sharing your insights with us. Associate Professor Brian Lowe there from the National University of Singapore.